and the Pelicano Drive construction in Far East El Paso remains on hold. Construction of this project began in 2020 and so far there's no new date, uh, no new start date, leaving many residents in the area frustrated and concerned. KTSM 9 News reporter Oriana Botero spoke to local business owners on how this mess is affecting their businesses. Living, working, or running a business along Pelicano Drive has turned into an ordeal for some residents. While the construction company, county commissioners, and the Camino Real Mobility Authority work to reach a settlement and finish the road. Heavy traffic, congestion, and construction that never seems to end are some of the issues commuters on the east side have had to deal with since the reconstruction and widening on Pelicano Drive. What was supposed to be a project to help commuters has turned into a local ordeal for everyone, especially for this local vendor. It's affected me because the traffic is so bad that people don't want to drive through here. My sales have gone down. A $21.6 million project that was supposed to be completed by July of 2022 was stalled by mid-2023. Unfortunately, last year, the um, contractor who was contracted by the Camino Real Regional Mobility Authority to complete the project actually defaulted on the project and then a few months later filed for bankruptcy. The ongoing dispute between the construction company and the Camino Real Regional Mobility Authority has impacted the clientele for this one specific business owner. My business is Vogue Hair Salon, and we've been here for seven years. Since the construction started here in Pelicano, our clientele has dropped. There's more traffic, and it takes people longer to get to their appointment because of construction. Despite a relief road being built to alleviate traffic congestion, it still hasn't done much to help the local businesses. Um, the Camino Real uh, Regional Mobility Authority and the County of El Paso um, were all working trying to find a uh, solution and enter into a settlement agreement with the surety company, the insurance company. For now, business owners have one message for those responsible. Please consider our businesses because it's really affecting us. Business owners like Maria Ambriz were told construction would be done two years ago. And as of right now, they don't know when this ordeal will end. She's hopeful an agreement is reached sooner than later. This is Oriana Botaro reporting for KTSM 9 News.